Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Soul Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, so Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. Okay, we're gonna do this a little bit different. We're gonna do past, present, and future, and we're gonna do your person, somebody that's in your energy. I'm not sure who it is. Okay, probably have, you may have quite a few people in your energy, but we're gonna try to pick up one of them um, and see who's coming towards you or somebody that you're dealing with. However, that resonates with you. Uh, next seven days, next seven days, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, my nose is itching. My hair might be a mess. I just was doing some uh, pulling. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to, I was messing with it. Uh, what do we have for Aries? Can't help but laugh. Trying to pull it out, you know what I mean? I was trying to get it to pull out, but it, you know, because it's a little flat, but whatever. It is what it is, right? It's a mess right now, and I don't care. Oh, we got two. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. So there's a message that is coming that you don't want to hear. May have to do with some wedding vows. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure if somebody's getting married or there's a separation or what is going on. I'm not, it's a message that you don't want to hear. So that's interesting. So a message is coming that you don't want to hear. Hmm. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something about a pain in the neck. So I don't know if you got a pain in the neck. If you're dealing with a pain in the neck, I just got a pain in my neck. So, so I don't know if you're dealing with a pain in the neck. Could be. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's speed this up a little bit. Let's speed it up. What do we have for Aries? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> The devil, the devil. So the devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. There's also some sort of bond here. We have, this is in the past position though. So there's some sort of bond. It's a very strong bond. There's a strong desire, strong sexual desire, lust, greed, temptation. Uh, King of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Magician could be a Gemini as well. What do we have for the present? The present. The moon reversed could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, Five of Pentacles, Hangman, Pisces. So you have Pisces presently or needing a new perspective somebody is uh abandoned abandoned neglect future let's talk about the future fool reverse that would be your own energy four of pentacles reversed um lack of security a need to let go of something being naive one more card for the future. Six of Wands reverse, losing a battle, not winning. Oh, damn, let's talk about your person. What's going on with your person? How do they feel about you? Or what's going on? My hair is sticking right up now, ain't it? Whatever. Tower! How does your person feel about you? There's some sort of surprise. Surprise! Shock, disruption, disruptive, uneasy, unstable, ten of wands. How does your person feel about you? What's going on with them? Three of pentacles reverse. Let's get one more. Queen of wands. Okay, and your challenge is the knight of swords. So your challenge is a knight of swords. The challenge is just doing something, putting plans in action, going for it. You need to 
make a decision and do something shock shock this is going to be a week there's going to be a week of shock okay there's going to be some sort of shocking change both those cards tower and the knight of wands so your challenge is doing something you must do it you gotta do it you gotta do something god my hair is a mess anyhow um what's coming what you don't see coming is the king of swords truth honesty something is coming there's some sort of truth there's some sort of challenging information that is coming this is truthful information it's the truth it's the facts you're going to be receiving some information that may take you by surprise okay it may take you by surprise ooh i just cut it to the queen of pentacles so i don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has money you could be dealing with somebody that has money that is very stable solid secure that is very has a lot to offer. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is a homemaker. It's a mother. It's a wife. It's a businesswoman. This person does it all. Okay, she does it all. She she does the cooking. She does the cleaning. She handles the money. She uh, is very nurturing. Um, there's whatever is happening. There is a decision that has to do with this Queen of Pentacles. This is a decision. This is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is all about stability, security, financial growth, abundance, home. Money. Something, a message is coming that you do not want to hear. This is going to be a surprise. It is going to be a shock to you. Whoever you're dealing with is going through a major life change. They are, and it is, they are. That tower is a major life change. They may be going through an internal disruption. They've become successful through hard work. I don't know why I am starting to feel sick. I think this has happened before for your reading. Three of Pentacles reverse, lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. We have somebody here that is carrying a heavy burden. They're he carrying a heavy weight. There's going to be some sort of major disruption. Things are going to explode. There's good, this is like an explosion. I don't know if it's an explosion of information or whatever. Whoever you're dealing with is shedding something. They're shedding something. If, maybe they're shedding weight. I don't know. Ten of Wands is weight, a burden, baggage, letting something go. Maybe they're letting you go. Queen of Wands at the end. Maybe they're choosing not to work with you. We have the Devil, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the King of Pentacles reverse, Gemini, taking action. Somebody is taking action. They are very tempted. They have this strong desire. Maybe it's lust. I don't know. Sexual desire, greed, materialism. In the past, that could also be you. you there could be some sort of, there is materialism here. There's materialism. There's lust. There's greed. There's selfishness. We have somebody here that is more focused on money and sex than they are a relationship. Could be you. It's in your past, right? It's in your past. Toxic. Toxic behavior. Instant gratification. Action. You know, using whatever means, using whatever means to gain. Somebody has been using whatever means they can to gain success. Devil energy in the past. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. There could be news of legalities that are coming. Something is coming. There is somebody that you are dealing with that, and I don't know who it is. If you, I don't know who it is. There's somebody here that is going to be doing something. It feels like this person is going to cause a major disruption for you could be another fire sign aries leo sagittarius could also be a libra gemini aquarius you got somebody that is headed towards you they're going to be giving you this message 
you're going to be getting the, whoever this person is this is right next to it you're going to be receiving a message from somebody these are facts okay this these could definitely be news of legalities it could be i'm not sure what is going on or whatever it may have to do with somebody cheating A message is coming. The whole foundation is about to be shaken up. There's about to be a shake up. Things are about to get shook up. Presently, there's lies. Moon reversed. Pisces Cancer. That's lies being revealed. So some, but that's deception. There's some sort of lies that are about to be revealed. There's some sort of financial hardship here. Somebody's been refusing to get help. There could be some addictions. Um... Refusing to, to let go of ego, struggling, struggling, holding on, the hangman, trying to prove a point. We have somebody here that is struggling financially, big time, and it's because of the, their poor choices, because of their greed, because of their lust, because of their materialism. There's consequences here. Moon reversed, moon reversed. Reality check. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed that has been hidden below the surface. There's some sort of financial issues here. There could be even hoarding of money or hiding money. I don't know if you're dealing presently. You're dealing with somebody that is lying. They're lying about the money or they're lying about some sort of money. We definitely have somebody, you are dealing with somebody right now that is hiding something. It appears that it's a Pisces because of the moon and the hangman both represent Pisces. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> Some sort of truth is about to come out with that king of swords. Challenging information is coming your way about this person. Maybe you've been naive. Um, the fool reverse is naive. Fool is your energy. Anyhow, the moon reverse. The moon reverse is reality. You're about to get a reality check. Maybe this person's going to come clean. I doubt it, though. They typically don't. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Information. Truth. Facts. Somebody is going to be delivering you a message that you don't want to hear. It's going to be a complete shock. A surprise may have something to do with your money or their money or or something like that I think it does have to do with money or another person it has to do with another person there could be another woman here another woman that is involved I do feel like we have a third party situation here that has been hidden that is about to be revealed. In the future, <laughs> I have I have letting go, letting go, letting go with a four of oh, a four of pentacles reverse. That's that's letting go of something that made you feel secure. Letting go of some sort of security. This is a lose loss. It's a loss. Six of Wands reverse is a loss. It's a it's a battle that is being lost. It's, it's it is. It's losing a battle. It's it's a fall from from grace. It's like falling. It's a fall. It's, there is a fall. There could be a fallout here with the Tower and the Four reversed. A fallout. A loss. A loss. A loss of stability. A loss of money with the Four of Pentacles reversed. It's letting go. This is a loss. It's not winning. The Six of Wands reversed. It's a it's, it's a loss. It's, it's a loss. It's a fail. It's a fail. It's a fail. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be dealing with, or right now you're dealing with some financial hardship. You may be dealing with somebody that refuses to give. This person is very uh, egotistical, extremely egotistical. They're hiding something from you that has to do with the money. But there's naive with the fool reversed.
getting some sort of information that causes a major disruption in your foundation. I feel like the, whoever you're dealing with is working with somebody behind your back and that's what this has to do with. They could be there could be some sort of investigation that is going on. They may be investigating, you know, spying. <laughs> I really feel sick. What the hell? Letting go of something you have been holding on to. You've been foolishly holding on to this. There's no victory. There's no success. You need to let it go. And I think that you're going to. I think you are. I think that you're, because that's letting go. If they're not letting you go, it's like you're letting them go. I feel like there's, it's been a, it's been a serious struggle. I feel like you've been neglected. You know, there's neglect. The very first, I mean, the middle card is the five of pentacles. That is neglect. That's being left out in the cold, being led in the wrong direction by somebody that has a victim mentality, you know, that has been hiding things from you. It's an illusion. It's fantasy. The moon is fantasy. It's an illusion. You know, if you anything can be hidden, be hidden. Okay, what you see is not what you get with the moon card. The moon is is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. You can't. You can't. You don't. It's unclear. It's unclear, and it's easy to hide. the shadow easily um, displays things to be something that they are not. It's, it's easy, okay? So I think that you have been um, unaware. You've been unaware of some sort of... Deception. Relationship. Six of, six of Swords and, and Knight of Cups. Somebody may be hiding their feelings, hiding their feelings. They've been uh, wanting to move on. Maybe they've been uh, neglecting you because they're, they're investing in another relationship. Hanging on, hanging on for financial reasons. Somebody is hanging on to you just for financial reasons, for whatever it is that you can provide for them financially. And you may be completely unaware of it. There's definitely naive here. It's time to move on. The Six of Swords is move on. It's time to go. It's time to move on. You need to move on from somebody, but I feel like you're neglecting yourself. You're because there, there's some sort of self-deception here. There's definitely some sort of truth that is going to be revealed if it hasn't be, been revealed already. And if it, if it hasn't been, it's about to. This is going to cause a major disruption in your foundation. It could be even be an internal disruption. Whoever you're dealing with is very... Uh, confident that they can pull the wool over your eyes they they think that you are naive <laughs> they're working with somebody else they are and they're hiding it very, very, very well. Things are about to be revealed. There's going to be a major disruption. There's going to be an event. It's like, and maybe you've been working so hard because I see working, 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 working that you ain't seeing it. <laughs> Some of you definitely dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. This is a fact. It is the truth. This is like, and this is going to cause you to take some sort of action. There could be a sudden departure here with the Knight of, Knight of Swords. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. There, somebody could even get thrown out 
okay with the tower card this is you're dealing with somebody that is does not have good intentions the king of cups reverse is somebody who doesn't have good intentions this is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn that is not invested with their heart their heart is not in it this is not love it's not love this person is not emotionally available they're not emotionally in it they're not in it they're not in it for their heart okay they're they're not i feel as though this is heartbreaking i do i do feel like this is heartbreaking i feel like it's heartbreaking news and there may have something to do with another woman it feels like there could be another woman here or you are dealing with a woman that has uh chosen not to work with you for some reason you know she's chosen not to work with you there's it feels like there's a woman here that is choosing not to work with you may have something to do with wedding vows or commitment <laughs> the fool reversed the fool reverse is making a poor judgment called stupid Stupid decision, stupid. No offense or anything. The fool reverses. You need to let go. You need to let go of what you're holding on to to have success. That whole lineup right there. It, this is lack of success. It's, it's not winning anything. It's not getting any accolades. You know, it's not winning. There's a lack of success because you need to let go of something that you're holding on to and step into no ter new territory. New territory right here. It's like, I, I'm not. This is like too, too afraid. Too afraid to let go. No success. No success upright. This is success. It's progress. It's win. It's famous. It's yes. It's being getting public recognition. It's being admired. This is no win. It is a loss. It's no victory because you need to let go of something. If you if you're playing it safe, you know if you're holding on to something for financial reasons. If that's the only reason, and don't look like there's no love, you know, uh, you know if you're being naive, if you're too scared, then there's no win. There's no success. There's no financial stability there's no stability you know you're not there's nothing to hold on to here so I feel like you somebody is not being uh, this is a loss it's losing a battle it's losing it's losing it's losing <laughs> Losing, losing stability, losing an opportunity, losing stability because it's losing security, losing, losing money, losing money, lose, failing. Headed for a fall because there's no trust, there's no faith. You need to break free from your own ego i mean in the past the devil is ego it's materialism it's greed it's instant gratification not being practical not interested you know and i've said this so many times there is somebody in the past here that is more focused on everything but love and people don't get it if you do not put love first then you're living in hell and you're gonna live in hell There is hell here. I feel like you have been given a golden opportunity to break free from hell. The devil, the king of pentacles reversed, and the magician. The magician's a golden opportunity. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or both. It feels like you have been given a golden opportunity to step out of hell. But there's self-deception here. There's deception. There's fantasy. There's illusion. There's a need to uh, stop sacrificing yourself and wake up and look at things from a new perspective. But it feels like you're, you're choosing to stay safe. It's safe right here. It's safe. So I feel like you're going to be experiencing a major disruption. And I don't know if it's in your living situation or it's on the inside. You're dealing with somebody that is hard to work with. You know, that, that you're probably not seeing eye to eye with. 
but staying put in that situation because it's safe anyway you're gonna receive some information that you don't want to hear you are that is going to cause a major disruption in whatever this foundation is this is overwhelming the ten of wands is overwhelming look at me heavy it is very heavy I feel like you're you're under a lot of pressure and a lot of it is financial it's financial pressure but I feel like it's all because of the poor decisions that you have made in regards to toxic behavior greed lust materialism I think presently you need maybe you need to seek help it's like help is available but but that hangman is like struggling struggling you know struggling to accept help it's like i do believe you have a golden opportunity here but it may require you to move you know the six of swords is moving you have you may have to leave something behind you know and go in that direction oh goodness gracious knight of swords just do it just go you know, sudden departure, sudden arrival. You're about to receive a message that you don't want to hear. This is going to cause a major disruption. It has to do with a woman that is working with somebody else behind your back. And that is what I got. 